Hey, hi, good evening. It's Tuesday. It's Jim. I'm shattered. I've just been for a run. I'm not very good at running. I do it twice, three times a week because I've got to, you know, <sighs> this doesn't take care of itself. Um, I'm just not very good at it. I do I can manage about three or four minutes at a time and I have to stop and do a bit of walking. Um, anyway, this isn't about running. This is about machine head because <sighs> bloody hell. Um, Ollie Hudson, you are nothing if not persuasive, and you keep asking and asking and asking, and, you know, a promise is a promise. I promised I would. So I'm going to listen to Machine Head, a song called The Rage to Overcome. And uh, your uh, your main um, thrust of your argument about this is the drums, dude, the drums. So I'm expecting good things. They better bloody be good. Um, I don't know this band. I've heard of them. Uh, according to Wikipedia, which is, of course, the fountain of all knowledge, um, Machine Head is an American heavy metal band from Oakland, California. They were formed in 1991. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Aggressive musicianship. Blah, 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 blah. Pioneering bands in the new wave of American heavy metal. I didn't know there was a new wave of American heavy metal. I knew there was a wob, new wobb, which is the new wave of British heavy metal. Um, hey, there you go. Um... They're still going, 91 to present. Uh, they're on Roadrunner and Nuclear Blast. Um, current members, Rob Flynn, Dave McLean, Phil Demmel, and Jared Mc, McEachum. McEachum? Uh, anyway, whatever, whatever. So, uh, they apparently they were big in Europe first. Excuse me. And then became successful in the US later on. Anyway, I'm rambling and get this ready to go. So, Ollie, for you, this is Machine Head. Three, two, one, boing. Drums are pretty insistent.
I've got this. It's over. You can come out from behind the sofa now. Um, it's quite funny. I'm just reading on the uh, the Wikipedia page about uh, musical influences and style and legacy and stuff like that. Um, before this even described it on there, I was going to say I could hear Slayer in there, um, definitely. And they've been listed as one of their influences. Um, Rob Flynn, who's the singer... Um, Singer, I lose that, use that term fairly loosely. Um, he himself has jokingly called his own style as barking in key, and I was kind of I was about to say before I'd even read that it's, he's just like shouting at the at the microphone and and hoping it sort of stays in it stays and fits. Um, it's it's all right, you know. It's it, it's not. I don't want to listen to this a lot. It's not. It's really not my sort of music. But I can totally appreciate this and and see what it's doing, where it's come from, and probably who it's influenced uh, since then. Uh, who will have listened to this? It genuinely is not my sort of music at all. Um, it's not as interesting as Metallica for me. And uh, I really like Metallica. Um, Obviously, extremely heavy, much much heavier in their early days, um, and I like Slayer as well because they were right at the forefront and were um, an influential uh, uh, act that bands then followed, and they they helped sort of define that genre along with Metallica and Anthrax, um, uh, Megadeth to to an extent as well, um, and. Um, yeah, um, the drumming. You're absolutely right. Uh, absolutely right, uh, Ollie. The drumming was um, was mechanical and technical and hard hitting, and very very good. There's no denying that. But overall, for me, the song didn't have enough uh, variation in there. No, not enough change. It wasn't interesting. It didn't change things up. It kept going at the same, uh, same, uh, um, same tempo. Had the same time signature. It didn't really change. The it didn't change key. Didn't have a key change. I think there was a guitar solo there, but it wasn't really uh, a melody that I could sort of disdain or disdain. Couldn't really sort of uh, grapple onto. Um, so overall, it's good. Um, it's well produced. It's well well played uh, for what it is, but for me personally, and I'm not saying this, I'm not judging music for anybody else because I know everything is very very personal, and people love music for different reasons and for and what have you. This isn't my favourite. I'll I'll go out on a limb and say that it's not my favourite. Um, I would recognise it again if it came on. It's 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 recognisable enough, but it doesn't do anything majorly different for me. It's not innovative or exciting or interesting enough for me to really want to go and investigate it anymore. However, saying that, it's good and I'm glad I've heard it. And I hope, Ollie, you've enjoyed this as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that may be. And until then, this is Jim. Over and out. <laughs>